just uh, can you give us your name, Cole, firstly? Cole Stewart. Stewart, S T E W, not Fre not the French one. Not U A R T. Yeah, yeah, not the French one. S T E W A R T. Yeah. Cole, just tell us about your, your rig here. It's an absolute ripper. How long have you had the car? Uh, 16 years. Everyone sort of says to you, oh, did you buy it brand new? Well, I was a new trooper in the regiment and it, I, we used to go to pitches two bob a fortnight and uh, it was 600 quid. So there's no way you could have made that into that. So, but how old is the car itself? Next year she turns 50. She was exported from England in uh, 1958 as a complete knockdown car. She come in a box. Uh, due to Australian components like leather, glass and tyres, you know, that made up the export, <laughs> so we can name it, yeah, and yeah, we've had, we've been to every capital city bar Darwin, and we're going there now, this is her second trip to Fremantle, last time she didn't have a caravan, but she towed the caravan around Tassie for two uh, two years ago for six weeks. And how far have you come this particular trip? What was your original destination? Fremantle. I just forgot which way to turn. <laughs> <laughs> the sun was in my eyes, so I turned left <laughs> instead of going right. So you've come from where? Cootamundra. In New Se South Wales? Yeah. 7,600 kilometres so far. And you're not going straight back? No, we're going to Catherine, Darwin, Alice... Port Augusta, Bragan Hill, then down the Kidman Way, finish up at home and then across to home. <laughs> I think they call that the long way home, Colt. Yeah, I, <laughs> as I say to the English magazine, I took a picture of uh, just out of Port Augusta there where you got the sign, uh, Darwin, Northern Territory, Perth, Fremantle. I said, don't mistake the turn. Well, somehow I must <laughs> <laughs> And will she make it? Of course. Of course. Well, yeah, yeah, we might have a hiccup, but that's all it'll be. What's your top speed, pulling the van? Uh, we've got to sit on 70 kilometres an hour because uh, I've got a utility, Morris Minor utility diff in, which is low geared. Uh, so top speed is 80, but if you think back, 80 kilometres an hour around a country village would have been terrific for a delivery vehicle. But I put the low speed diff in to give a pulling power across uh, uh, in Tassie. But there's been spots where we've used, where I've needed the extra power, like when you come across uh, Murray River down in South Australia, you've got to go down and then up off the boat and it's a steep little pull. So, yeah, but as long as you're prepared to sit on 70, she doesn't. And have you made any other modifications, given it a more powerful engine or suspension? No, as is, as expected. Um, the reason is I could do it with a firm in England, and if I stay stock standard, I'll ring them and they'll get me parts a bit over a week here. So it's the original motor from 19, what, 54? 50, 58. 58. Yeah. The, what is the size of the engine? Well, it says a 1,000, which is you know, one litre, but she's, the block says 948. So I think the English cheated a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, no, nah. and everyone's had one. Of course, so uh, uh, we talk about the fabulous 50s and 60s, everyone driving chevs and custom lines, well, no one I knew. Everyone had Osnay 40s or Boris Miners. It's a beauty. You've got a nickname for her? Oh, yeah, she's got a name. Everyone knows it's called the Clown because <laughs> of her red nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Ha happy trails, safe travels, and I'm sure we'll see you on the road again, Cole. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll, it, you can either sit down and vegetate or you can take an adventure. How old are you this year? Uh, well, 69. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you're not thinking of upgrading to a Land Cruiser or a no, Nissan actually, Patrol or well, actually, Hyundai? Yeah, actually, have a Mercedes sitting in the shed at home. My daughter said, you're not taking that thing <laughs> when you've got a car with climate control. But the bigger joke is, I haven't seen a Mercedes dealer anywhere along <laughs> me road, so I think this one... Yeah, I did enough four-wheel driving in the Army to 
Bob said, me, I'm turning the windscreen wiper on under the ocean. And I've driven across two wires. I've floated land drivers, and they talk about it's four wheel drive and the rig behind us, you know, it's four wheel drive and it's got a huge big caravan. And there's no way they're going to take that across any rough. And well, they might go across a gravel road, <laughs> but that's all. But she's done. She's done four wheel driving. She's been from Burke to Wentworth, 700 kilometres of dirt road. Uh, the morning we left Burke was the morning we left the road open. There's no stopping her. Huh. And no stopping you either, by the way. That's a bit of a problem because the brakes are only still how heavy the foot goes down because she's only got little drums but she's got electric brakes to help her with the caravan. <laughs> you just got to be one head uh, traffic light ahead. That's why we moved to Cootamundra, because the, the closest traffic was 100 kilometres away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no, you just you can't sit and vegetate. If you if you retire, you must have to be able to do something. Good on you. We can have a seas trip planned next year, so then the year after we go to Queensland for the rally. You know. Um, we got years ahead, something to look forward to, but you hear, hear so many older people sitting doing nothing. Yeah. Well, not you. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, safe Thank travels. You. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Yeah, um, but uh, let me just try that up. So just the, the name is uh, Cheryl? Trish. I beg your pardon, Trish, yeah, you told me last night. Fine, and yeah. and the last name saying Stuart. Stuart. Oh yeah, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> last time you checked. <laughs> last time I checked it was, yes. Just yeah. very bright behind you, let me just come around a bit. So Cheryl, uh, just uh, I'm Trish, not Cheryl. Trish, I've, I've got it in my mind now, Trish. Yeah. How far have you come this trip? Just about 8,000 k's. Any air conditioning in the Mori? Oh yeah, right, no. <laughs> <laughs> Two windows down and 40 kilometres an hour. And the van, is a, it's a beauty, the yes. little Robin Mini. Mini, yes. I drift away. Yes. How long have you had that? Two years. Yeah. Yeah. It's just right for you too? Yes, big enough. It's about all the uh, Morris Minor could pull, I oh, suppose. Oh yes, I couldn't pull anything more. Yeah. But yeah. it's a perfect combination. Yes, it is. You must turn a few heads on the road. Oh, very much so, yeah. People drive past and you can see the finger go out and go like this as they're driving past and then they say, oh, I say to Colin, we've given them something to talk about for the next 10 mile. <laughs> Are you uh, comfortable there? Yeah, yeah, Happy yes. travelling? Yes, yes, love it. No, no thoughts of getting up to a, a great big comfortable uh, air-conditioned full drive? Definitely not. <laughs> Too big. Yeah. Too big. Yeah. And, and you're not worried about breaking down in the middle of the outback? If we break down, we break down. We set up the car uh, caravan, get the parts out from England and continue on our way. You seem very happy, you and Cole. We are. We've been married 50 years next year. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Same age as the car. I was going to say, yeah. you have to have a triple anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, happy trails. Thank and just you. tell us a little bit about this one. This is Sam, our, our companion dog, and he is eight, just turned eight years old. He come with you everywhere? Oh, yes, everywhere we go, Sam goes, yes. Sam well, he's is, beautiful. He helped navigate? Oh, definitely, yes, and he's a real tourist. He sits on my knee looking at the, at the scenery going past. <laughs> well, I'll see you on the road. Thank Enjoy you. your trip. Thank you. And I'll pull it down. <laughs> yeah, um, I want a pen and a paper. No, he wants his to. You should get it. The inside version of what she does is hang out the handles and kick her feet out. <laughs> Chris's hands aren't as... Yeah. Everything in order? Yep. Set to go? Yep. You see our home club. All of them have got names. Every Murray.
Just give me a check over. Check the spark plugs. <laughs> Fan belt. It better be on here, I'll go crook. Yeah, oh, it's cold. Yeah, she's alright. Yeah. Okay, shut her up. And round to the driving door. Right. In you hop. Are you going to drive for a mine? <laughs> oh, you're a bug for doing that. Hey, move over. Don't you ground with me, I'm driving. <laughs> He wants to drive. Yeah, hey, what am I doing? Huge. Ah! Oh, sounds good, Colt. Yeah, I just warmed her up for you. Oh, we right. Just turn it off and then turn it on again for me. Hand away. Take your hand away. Where you go. Most people don't uh, be able to start it because you've got to pull the button and the key don't start it. Okay, the button starts it. You've got to pull it. <laughs> well, it's a bit... Nobody can do that. Right. Yeah. Put the cap back. Oh, can you do it? Take the. Can you take the reading for us? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And then I just push button and it closes. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha